Hi everyone, and welcome back to my latest Minecraft video. I apologize for the delay between this video and my last one. I had a an immediate family member that was diagnosed with cancer over the holidays and her treatment was my top priority. So playing Minecraft kind of took a back seat to that and not to mention the natural crazy holiday experiences that seem to happen to me every year. Well, now life seems to be getting back to a more normal pace. So I thought I'd take this time to refresh my channel. I have a, about an hour to spend playing some Minecraft and just unwinding. So, for those who may be concerned, my, uh, my family member has started chemotherapy and the outlook for her particular situation is very good. So, when she was first diagnosed, we, uh, we were all a little bit scared, but the, uh, the doctors have assured us that her condition is very treatable and very curable. But enough about that. We are currently in Patronville, as you can tell. And I thought in this video I would show you my castle. And I, I have two castles. I have my the one I call my fort, which is the one that sits on top of the underground village and the horse racing track. But on the original spawn island, I built a sort of a, a scaled down interpretation of relaxing ASMRs and it's very easy to get to if we go into the nether I sort of rebuilt this nether base uh, about a month or so, a month and a half ago. It used to be just this small little room and I expanded it and added a, a workstation over here and some nice carpet and lights in the ceiling. This railway leads to five different nether fortresses and in the first realm video the introduction video R took a trip on this railway and it it hasn't changed since that video and I didn't build this uh, another another player built this ice road to as a as a way to travel in between the spawn island and the main nether hub it's actually quite a lot of fun and a very effective mode of transportation so 
if we take this nether portal, we will end up... Well, I'll show you. So, obviously I've taken some creative liberties with the interpretation of this compound, but in spirit I wanted it to retain all of the features and characteristics of relaxing ASMR's castle as close as I could manage, because this island is a lot smaller than relaxing ASMR's survival island is. So here is the nether portal room, and over here is the enchanting room. I was always a big fan of this design, so much so that I incorporated the uh, redstone and lapis blocks into my enchanting room at my own survival compound. And this is a chest where I keep lapis lazuli. And also, like in Relaxing ASMR's world, this area hasn't been developed yet. And it won't be developed, it may never be developed, until Relaxing ASMR shows me what, <laughs> what to build down here. Because, like I said, I'm trying to, to make as close of a model of his world as possible. This is a bit different here. Here's a hidden doorway into a, a brewery. <laughs> and I have some brewing stands. Now, I don't think R has managed to locate a nether fortress yet in his survival world. We haven't talked about that for a long time. He may have, but I'm not sure if he has. But this is just a, a kind of brewing room that I built here. And I'm sure you all recognize this area. And here is the storeroom. It's not as long because, well, behind these blocks here is the ocean. And I, uh, well, when I was expanding this room, I kind of flooded it <laughs> and found out the hard way what was behind these blocks. Now, I do believe in R's world, there is a cave somewhere around here behind these blocks. Because I recall in some of his videos, when, when he came down here, I could hear a zombie moaning from somewhere in this vicinity. And... If we go upstairs, we find ourselves in the lower main floor of the mini castle. And I have some various chests. I've got an, a, a wide assortment of different things in this chest. Yeah, lots of lots of different things. I have a couple dogs here. And 
I keep food in this chest. Now, across the way, I had a chicken farm, a chicken ranch. And like in ours world, I had hundreds of ch hundreds of chickens. But they were making the gameplay kind of lag on my end, so R and I kind of well, I think you can tell what happened by looking at all of this cooked chicken. But it was kind of a warm-up for him. He did this one, and then he logged onto his survival world and cleared the chickens at his ranch. So we just came from down there. Let's go upstairs. And you can tell I've taken some creative liberty with this area. I built a uh, kind of a nice fireplace here and some nice benches so you can sit and enjoy the fire <laughs> sit and enjoy the fire and I've got the gold and iron and diamond armor up here and I have a, a chest where I keep some survival gear. I've got, uh, gee whiz. Some pretty impressive enchantments on some of these tools. But let's just go up and I'll show you the layout of the land. And you might get a little bit queasy when we get to the top. So the sun is setting. So this was the original spawn island and I modified it a little bit and tried to incorporate some of the features around relaxing ASMR's compound. And I see a llama on top of the wall. I have no idea how he managed to get up there, but I think we'll we'll have to go down there and do something about that. You know, those wandering traders, I really do not like them very much, but down here is the west yard. And I have a small battle trench and a big mushroom. And inside that mushroom is a surprise. More on that later. And if we look to the north, you can see this island. And I have, this was the, the location of the chicken ranch but since then I have started a beef herd a sheep herd as well as a pig herd and a chicken herd or chicken herd in that strip over there and this building here it's kind of a a combination of several buildings in relaxing ASMR's world. His main mining outpost directly across from his island. His chicken ranch area. Inside is a zombie spawner 
like his old zombie spawner at the snow base and below is a mine that resembles the lava camp only on a much much greater scale and to the west all the way across the water is another mining outpost that I built and you can't see it because of the distance but it's built to resemble relaxing ASMR's mining outpost that is across the ocean you know the one with the chickens the one with from on the island where he got his sheep from and down here is a tree a tree farm and the uh, the sand towers with the lights on top over here is my neighbor uh, this is this is one of Jazz's homes, and it's a very impressive house. But I don't want to be the guy to uh, to show you that place because I I really don't know all the features that were built into it. Maybe um, maybe Jazz will show you that house, or maybe R will show you that house one day. But I don't want to take you there and show you only 50% of that house and get cursed out later <laughs> for, uh, for for missing most most of it. I've only been in there a few times since it was built but it is probably the most impressive house in this entire realm and it, it's, it's probably even nicer than Jazz's other house in Musicville. It's just it's something else and and he built it as a survival house it's fully functional or f fully functioning as a survival house you'll have to um excuse my my grammar it's it's almost four o'clock in the morning and i'm very tired but i figured i'd take this opportunity to post something on my channel because it has been a long time. So, out here is the harbor and the causeway. So, This area here doesn't really resemble relaxing ASMR's compound too, too much. But if we turn around to look at the, um, at the main building, well, I know it's not exactly the same, but I had always wanted to play in relaxing ASMR's world. Because as I mentioned in previous videos, he was the primary reason why I got into Minecraft in the first place. And I always thought his world was the coolest thing ever. So this here is a small little fish pond. And there aren't any fish swimming in it right now, but we can change that by pressing this button. And now there are some fish. I have a small dispenser that I rigged up over there. And up here are 
the pigs, and the chickens. Just a single sword in this chest. It's always good to keep weapons close by. So here is a small terrace. And I like to fight spiders here. I just get their attention and they come on up and... And they can't cross this ledge. They get stuck under it, so it's very easy to cut them down. And here are the sheep. And over here are the cows and stuff. And here I have some wheat to feed the cows and some lava to get rid of excess materials. I can just take, you know, stuff that I accumulate and toss it in there and it's gone. So. And down here is just a back entrance into the, uh, the castle. I used to have a skeleton horse with a saddle here, but with the new update, he, he disappeared one day, and my suspicion was that the new update rendered skeleton horses untamable. So, I don't know why he because he had a name tag like I don't know why he would have despawned with a name tag it was a very strange one but so now we have midnight here so if we go outside here You'll see, um, it's not exactly the same, but it, it's close enough. You can definitely tell. And here's just kind of a corridor inside the walls of the castle. And I had to incorporate one of my battle stations into the design. These are very, very handy outfits for killing skeletons. And up here is a little terrace that is very good for archery practice. <laughs> Very good for killing creepers that stand behind the trees. And here is the wandering trader. This is a pretty powerful sword, so. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <coughs> uh. 
So here is the giant mushroom. And I have a little room inside of it. It's kind of neat to stand in here and doesn't really serve any purpose, but... This space kind of seemed empty and I wanted to put something there, so I put this giant mushroom with a room. In here is a small den with a fireplace and a library. I didn't have enough room to build an apartment like Relaxing ASMR did at his castle. So I built this little area here. And I have other rooms scattered around. This is my chicken farm, or ch my egg farm. I have plenty of eggs from the chicken pen above these hoppers. And I've done some mining down here, but never actually got beyond this point. And up here is a crossover tunnel for the battle trench. And this battle trench is pretty cool. I can stand down here and kill zombies and skeletons and spiders because they can't fit through this opening. And Unlike relaxing ASMR's world, I can I can kill creepers down here because we turned the um, the block damage off. So while they still can blow up down here, they won't damage anything, which is the big worry with creepers. So once you turn off the um, the block damage, they really do become one of the least scary creatures in this game. It's kind of like taking away their mojo. So let's just go up on top of the wall and take a run around. And I s oh, we, well, we can leave him up here. I don't think he'll cause any trouble unless he pushes me off the um, the edge. So, let's go through this door. Down here is just another way to get into the storeroom. Let's get rid of that. Didn't mean to do that. 
you know, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll take you through here. Through this door is a ladder that goes down to a mine. And up here is that, that little little structure. And whereas in Ar's world, when he plucked up the courage to venture down to the bottom, he found nothing. I have created a mine down at the bottom of this shaft. Well, let's go down this way. So, I have mined all of this out. It's pretty much just one big room now. And down here is a small underground farm. And I'm growing wheat and potatoes and carrots pumpkins and beets and sugarcane and watermelon, cocoa beans, sweet berries, netherwort. And I've mined all of this out as well. Now over here is one of those really creepy ravines. And, you know, it's, it's a little bit different than ours mining outpost, but I tried to keep things, you know, it, it wasn't like I was going to get a ravine just like his, so I, I did the best with what I was dealt. And I was very lucky that there was a ravine here at all. And I've actually spent a lot of time here in survival mode. Doing some mining. Because I don't, I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, but with the, um, the pillage update, I haven't liked to be in survival mode in my main world, in my survival world, because I built an artificial village in my compound and pillagers would always be spawning inside the walls and trying to kill my villagers. And most, most of the time I spend at my compound is spent mining. So if I'm mining below the ground in survival mode and pillagers decide to spawn inside my compound, well... It happened once before and I lost about 25% of the population of my village before I realized what was going on and made it um, a peaceful mode world. So I get most of my survival fix in this realm now. Not to say I don't go survival in my main world, but I get most of my, most of my survival operations are done here now. So,
here is a um, kind of a, a mine cart that leads to some caves that I was clearing. This will step out on the ledge for a second. I think I'll adjust the brightness. I'll make it kind of moody. In relaxing ASMR's early videos of this area, his brightness wasn't all the way up, so this might make it look a little bit more familiar. Yeah, that that certainly does change things up. So up here is a cave that I started to mine. I'm kidding. This this was a I I mined all of this out to mimic the cave that relaxing ASMR cleared of monsters. Get rid of that. And this abandoned mine shaft isn't an abandoned mine shaft. I mined the shaft and built this. But it serves its purpose, and its purpose is to look like an abandoned mine shaft from those windows or from in here and it seems to do that just fine So if I didn't if I didn't tell you that I built that, you would probably just assume that there was an abandoned mine shaft there. And while it isn't exactly like ours cave, it's it's as close as I could make it. As well as this area up here. So here's a, a room that I that I've mined out. If I remove this block, it would be a way to um, to drop into a cave, but I'm not really ready for that yet. And I've mined all of this out as well. So. How do I get out of here? See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get lost up here. The exit. Where is the exit? not that way. I just went this way. I 
Okay, here it is. Yeah. Back down these steps. And into the safe room. So let's just head down here. And I've mined out this room. That's the way we just came, where the, the ladder goes up. Over here is... It's kind of dark in here. I should put a torch. This goes into another room over here. And I have this blocked up because in ours world... He encountered a monster somewhere over here and blocked it off. Maybe one day we'll get to find out what is behind this area here. See, in my world, that's just some black concrete to make it look <laughs> like there's a cave there. And there's nothing over there, but in ours world, there might be. I'll admit I've always been curious about what lay behind this barricade. Some redstone here that I haven't mined yet. Should get to that. And these are some pretty creepy tunnels. They're not creepy right now, but in survival mode, they can get pretty nasty. And I don't know exactly how relaxing ASMR's tunnels like this go, so a lot of this was just just kind of making them look similar to the ones under his compound that we got to brief we got to glimpse so briefly all those years ago. Maybe one day he'll take us for a more in-depth tour. We don't want to fall in there. What is... Ah... Now, we'll see if I can't remember how to get out of here.
Yeah, I'm gonna get lost down here. I think we go back. Back this way. Yeah, here we go. Back down through here and up. And through here is, um, well, this was once a bunch of mine shafts that I turned into one big room. And unlike ours room like this, I made the lava far enough away so that they wouldn't burn the trees down. So these trees, it's kind of strange to see them growing underground like this, but So that pretty much does it for the mines down here. Well, the mines that are similar to the ones below ours castle. But if we go back this way, I did some mining in here. I don't think he's done anything similar in his world, but up these stairs Actually, maybe I should show you what's over there. Well, I'll yeah, I'll take you back over there, quick. Because that's a little bit different. So in this room here, I've built a kind of a, a glass tunnel. And monsters spawn inside this room, and I can stand here and kill them. Now, I don't think this is exactly what R was meaning when he said he was going to build a glass tunnel in his killing zone. But... This is kind of my interpretation of it. It's and mobs can't spawn on glass, so I can keep this room very dark and not worry about anything spawning out here. Now through here is a very, yeah, Trevor's long tunnel. It's a it's a very basic kind of a name, but well, we have a, a player in the realm, 
and his name is Trevor. And he built a network of very long tunnels underground and glass tunnels on the ocean floor and giant glass railways as high as you can possibly go that go for hundreds if not thousands of blocks so that if we ever wanted to get to these places in survival mode we could do so very easily and very efficiently I can only imagine the amount of work that it took to do everything he did many many days at least So, picking up where we left off, back up these stairs and through this door. This kind of takes us to this ledge. We can look down and that's a long, long way down. And there's the outpost. And up this ladder. We come out. just like in ours world or not just like but very similar so that is the castle Let's go over this way. Let's take this minecart. And this is that kind of that all in one outpost. I have kind of a nice harbor that I constructed with some giant spruce trees. And over there you can see the castle and Jazz's house. Up here is just a um, a store a storage area. I haven't had the need to use these chests yet. Through here is the zombie spawner. And down below is a flesh collection. And this is a room of, of cookers to cook the, um, the produce. 
from the farm out here. And storage bins, barrels. And out here I have some dark oak trees growing. This area gets pretty dark. It's a handy place to fight the monsters. And this is the tower that I built when I had the chicken ranch and I was a little skeptical when I watched R's video where he said he had lots of fun throwing eggs but then I tried it and I realized that he was telling the truth. I spent many hours standing on top of here in creative mode where you never run out of eggs throwing thousands and thousands of eggs and packing this entire area so full of chickens that you couldn't even move <laughs> yeah that was a wasn't the greatest way to spend th that time but just take a take flight for a second. So there is that compound, and over here is the castle or the mini castle. And while I would trade a hundred of these worlds for ours actual world. I can't help but be a little proud of what I've managed to build on this tiny little island. So down here is a full service mining outpost. Just a bunch of random knickknacks in this chest. Plenty of bows and crossbows, shields and arrows, and tools, pickaxes, swords and shovels all manner of blocks glass and torches and ladders lots of food and lots of loot and plenty of furnaces and some armor and down these stairs is the biggest mine I have ever dug. And it kind of resembles the lava camp. And in future videos, I am going to be playing this particular world in survival mode and I'll be doing some mining down here and some cave clearing so I was only able to mine these first few shafts up to where you see the torches at the end because past there is the um, the ravine below the castle So let's just, um, this railway goes to the, uh, the jungle outpost, which is that, that rendition, that reproduction of 
relaxing ASMR's mining outpost that is a little bit further away from his castle on the island where he got his sheep. But let's just go down here and I won't walk because this is a very, very big mine. What the? Well, that's kind of neat. So, I need to put a floor down here. Maybe I'll just do that now. That's good enough. So, if you recall, I mentioned that there were some caves. There, there was a railway by the um, the mining outpost, and that railway is right here, and this takes us back to the mining outpost beneath the castle. So I was just clearing these caves the old way using lots of glass. And when I say the old way, it's the way that I myself used to mine caves because I took a lot of my mannerisms and my, and my style of gameplay from watching relaxing ASMR play. I say I used to clear caves like that. I, I don't do that anymore, but a part of me kind of misses it. I was so careful and so measured with everything I did, whereas now I just... Well, if any of you have seen the uh, videos where we all go caving, I just kind of charge through the cave and put torches on the left-hand side. and kill whatever comes across my path. So this is the east shaft and I had to, um, I couldn't mine through this because, well, actually I shouldn't have the wood right there because it might, uh, the lava might catch it on fire, but that is the underground farm right here. So I need to go, so I had to go around that. And obviously all of this needs to be mined out. This is all relatively new. So we'll go back this way. And just so you know what's behind this wall is um, the ravine and the mining outpost over there. And I didn't want to mine through this. So, and all of this needs to be mined out. So this ladder goes up to that little structure in the yard. And down here is the continuation of the east mine shaft, the east perimeter. And this is the south perimeter. And this is one of the long ones. There is a lot of mining to be done 
all the way along the wall on the right. And this mine, as you may have guessed, lies underneath the ocean. So here is the southwest corner of this massive mine. And here is the western perimeter. And another cross shaft. Some of you may recognize, well, I've got it kind of closed off now, but right here is where we, um, in our first, one of our first cave clearing videos, we, uh, a couple of us cleared this cave as a warm up. And this is the northwest corner, and this shaft goes all the way back down to where we just put the floor in. And unlike the other side, this side is completely mined out. So, if we go up this staircase this is my take on the satellite base because on that island where R got his sheep he has two mining outposts he has the main outpost and he has a small kind of a, a satellite base where he has done most of the mining on that island. And this is the satellite base here. And the mine goes all the way underneath this ocean. And up over here is the outpost. And it has this nice protected entrance for the boat. And a, a nice storeroom some furnaces. And a, a pretty nice little bedroom up here. And it has this this giant wall to keep things from coming into the courtyard because there is a, a sizable hill behind this wall. And there is another wandering trader somewhere close by. He is probably here 
to take revenge for the death of his brother. So I'm hesitant to go out there and face him. But I don't think he can get in here, so out here I have some cows and some chickens. And here's a ladder in case I need to get up here to make a repair or something. And this, this has a glass ceiling, so. And out here is a small landing pad. And as you can see, the boats are still here from when I think it was me, R, and, and Kazba that we were doing some cave clearing over here and we we ended the video inside inside this this uh this room now down here is a shipwreck, a buried shipwreck, and I've scavenged this entire shipwreck and taken most of the loot. There's still some stuff left. And down this trap door, this leads back to the mine. And there's a small courtyard out here. I don't see the trader. Oh, there he is. I hope he didn't see me. Yeah, he's definitely here to seek his revenge. Yeah, he just... Let's get out of here. I don't know what that was all about. But... I think we should just leave him alone. I do not want to mix it up with him right now. So you know what? Let's take this boat. And head back to the castle. Spin around and take another look at this outpost. And let's head back. And there are the Twin Towers, kind of a beacon of hope in the darkness. Let's row this way. And I can see right here, there's a tree that's missing its base. I guess an Enderman has been here visiting.
So that is pretty much my mini castle. And I think in the next realm video, I'll be returning here to do some mining in survival mode. And I'll take you along for the ride. And that mine is pretty dark, so it might get a little bit, well, I'm sure you can all imagine. It might be kind of a frightening experience. But I'm up for it. So, let's just head back to Patronville. What the? Well, there's a massive wall of water here. And I think Trevor might have something to do with this. I wonder if there's a way around it. Yeah, it looks like we'll be okay if we go this way. If you look down there, that's Trevor's underwater tunnel. I suppose we could have taken the the underwater the underwater tunnel back to the base or back to the city. But that would have involved us going all the way back through the mine into the tunnel. And by which point we would have already been halfway across. Now here's an underwater monument that we've all explored. Those guardians used to scare the you-know-what out of me. When I used to... Um, paddle around oceans and uh, dur during explorations in my survival world and I'd hear them charging up. Boy, that, those were some frightening days. And there is the lighthouse. So let's park the boat. And head back to Patronville. It sure is dark out here. There's the uh, the baseball stadium. Maybe we'll fly over it. Yeah, Mason and Jazz built this. And they did an excellent job. It's an amazing build.
and the sun is rising and we arrived home just in time. Now I have these lights on my roof so that nothing can spawn on my roof. I don't know about you, but I don't find the sound of zombies moaning and groaning directly above me to be a particularly relaxing noise when I'm trying to fall asleep. So let's close the trap door. And we will finish this video right where we started. So I appreciate you taking the time to to uh, play some Minecraft with me. To do some mining and clear some caves. And I'd appreciate it if you came along and helped me out. Because <laughs> God knows I need it. I can't tell you how many times I've died in this game because a creeper snuck up behind me. And it would be great to have you there watching my back. So, until next time, I'm Izzy the Tiger, and thanks for watching. Happy trails. Oh, that reminds me. I also have a uh, another build to show you here in the city. And maybe before we head over to the mini castle, I'll show you that office tower. And uh, it has a lot of open offices. Room for players to develop a business. And the owner of the building is a very, very wealthy citizen. And he's allowed me to develop the building absolutely rent-free for any future tenants. So if you're looking to build a free office, uh, you should definitely drop by Relaxing ASMR's Patreon page to find out on how you can be a new citizen of Patronville. We have a lot of lots available to build on, but they are filling up very quick. And there really isn't a lot more room to expand, so once those lots are, f are full, then you might be out of luck, so if you have any interest in playing on this realm with us, time is of the essence. But enough of that. So until next time, take care.